I'd like to show you how to create a um, SD card from an image using SD Clown. So what I have here is a SD card um, reader uh, along with a, uh, a micro SD card they put in here. And then I'm going to use SD Clone to be able to restore an image. So let me launch SD Clone. You notice I downloaded a couple images from the internet. One's in uh, zip, dot .zip format or dot .img dot .zip and the other one's in dot .img dot .gz format. One's the uh, version of Raspbian, which allows you to, uh, has the OS for the Raspberry Pi as well as Rasplex. So let me add these to SD Clone by just highlighting them and dragging them in. And the first thing you'll notice that it does is it calculates the size. Because they're zipped and they're very large images, um, it's sometimes hard to get the exact um, file size inside the zip, and so SD Clone calculates that. Um, so there's this one uh, is requires 725 megabytes of uh, uh, the file size to be able to restore it. This one's 574 megabytes. Um, so I have this eight gigabyte card, which is means I have plenty of space for either one of these images. I'll make sure that the lock is not locked. I'll insert it into the SD card reader on the side of my Mac, and I'll choose Raspbian, and uh, and I want to be able to restore that to the SD card. So select Raspbian, select the destination as the uh, Apple SD card media media that's I've inserted in this Mac. You can see that it's almost eight gigabytes of, of space on this uh, SD card, so it's plenty of space. And I'll click on Restore Volume. It'll prompt me to authenticate because it's a privileged operation. And it'll go ahead and restore that image uh, directly to that uh, SD card. A um, couple things to notice, it does give you a percentage that it's done, and this is accurate because it, it knows the unzip size. Um, and it also gives you a speed that it's doing, and you can see that this is a Type 10 SD card, so I'm, I'm guaranteed a minimum of 10 megabytes per second. You can see this is getting about 15.6, 15.7 megabytes per second, so that all uh, kind of checks out. Um, since this uh, actual image is only, or this the actual data that you use is only 725 megabytes, what's, what SD Clone is going to do is expand that last uh, Unix partition or Linux partition to make use of the entire uh, um, size of the SD card. You can see that's the operation that it's doing now. So it says expanding one partition, and so it's going to expand from the file system size that's 725 megabytes up to uh, of the entire 8 gigabytes of the card. So when you boot this into Raspberry Pi, um, you'll have that, that last uh, Linux partition will be expanded to uh, be able to make use of all that size. All right, the operation is completed, and now it's been restored. Um, and you can see that if I go to the computer on this machine, you can see that it mounted the fat partition. That's like a standard Raspberry Pi type uh, file system files. Um, and I can select this and eject it by just selecting it and going to eject. And it'll eject any amount of partitions, and then I can safely remove this and take this uh, uh, micro SD card and install this into my Raspberry Pi and it'll boot up just fine, and I'll have all available space available to use uh, on that SD card.